Law Warrior Aerotech. SPD-502 SPAD. Overview. The SPD-502 SPAD is considered one of the best fighters in the Star League Defense Forces. One of the outstanding features of this fighter is its durability. Designed with simple repairs in mind, every part of the SPAD is easy to access, remove, and replace. Furthermore, all components were designed for modular access, so that if one system type should fail, any number of similar systems from different manufacturers can replace it. The net result is a fighter ready to go virtually anywhere, at any time. Capabilities The SPAD carries no weapons that require reloading, which means it's not restricted by ammunition and weight factors. The primary weapon is the Star Cutter PPC, mounted in the nose of the craft. The secondary weapons are the Allied Technologies Small and Medium Lasers. The Medium Laser is mounted further back on the fuselage and front of the cockpit. This laser resembles the old-fashioned mounted machine gun on biplane fighters of 20th century terror. The Allied Model 1 Small Laser is mounted directly behind the cockpit and is fully rotational, allowing the SPAD to fire to the rear at pursuing ships. A protective cowling folds over the laser during atmospheric re-entry to protect its systems and give the fighter a more aerodynamic profile. The weapon has to be covered only for a few minutes of re-entry burn before being redeployed in atmosphere. The SPAD's sloped wing design and special alloy wing tips help make its project electronic echoes that wreak havoc on many enemy targeting systems. The SPAD is often confused with larger aerospace fighters due to this. For armor, the SPAD has the highly praised Carbondale 3 plating system. This system uses individual plates of armor woven in a manner to deflect laser shots once they penetrate the outer skin. The GM-150 engine is a proven unit that holds up well in flight and on the ground. Safely insulated with Carbondale 3 armor, the GM-150 can carry a pilot through heavy fire with a good deal of confidence. On the ground, it can be detached and removed in a matter of 6 hours, compared to the average of 10.5 hours for engine replacement in other Star League fighter aircraft. Yeah, a bit of a short one. This is from TRO2750. Originally, I was going to use Technical Readout 3050 upgrade, but that thing, for one, in a weird way, although it's a, it's a larger TRO write-up, it actually has less information about things like the armor and the like, um, and then just talks about deployment, about how, oh, the word of Blake used it, and it's amazing. Oh, the word of Blake. And it's like, oh, fuck off. Can't be bothered with that, so... The original is the best. Uh, mass is 30 tons, uh, an F-50C frame with GM-150 engine with Carbondale 3 armor, yet with a star cutter particle projection cannon and Allied Technologies Model 2 medium and Model 1 small. Manufactured by New Age Systems Incorporated with a communication system of the CMD STAT 400D targeting and tracking system, Scope Paint. Uh, it's an odd looking little fighter, but I actually quite like it. It's uh, it's not bad. It's, it's not going to win any awards for anyone anytime soon, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm getting the name right. I'm not sure if it's actually called Spad or whether there's a bit of like a kind of a spa, like a spad as the name. It's probably spad. Um, so yeah, I've probably been saying that wrong the whole time. But uh, yeah, Armor Factor 128, it's not too bad. Uh, pretty good across. Um, obviously, it's very fast as well for its weight class, 30 tons. But yeah, it's kind of cool. I like the I like some of the little aerospace fighters. But uh, yeah, sadly, we're never going to see them in a game unless there's a game just dedicated toward aerospace uh, combat, really. Uh, I know Living Legends obviously has aerotech fighters, but you know they don't have like a huge slew of them because it would be ridiculous. There's a lot of fighters in the game. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening, everyone. Hope you have a good week, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.